This is day 6 of our 500 nautical mile crossing from Grenada to Aruba. And this has been probably the most challenging passage we've ever attempted. Not due to the weather, which has been mostly becalmed, but due to the fact that we've been followed and approached by what we believe were Venezuelan pirates. And we realized that we were nowhere near prepared for something like that. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, peeps. It's the second time I feed him today. It's come back. It's good. Come back. So I'm just gonna put it in there. In this little. Yeah. It's okay, so he's ate two times now. And he's only like 20 miles away from the island, so it should be okay. The bird can only see from one eye. I think he can see from the other eye, but. Actually no, because I catch him from the, the side where you cannot see it. Um, I didn't want to film it because I obviously don't want to film his disability for the camera, it's not fair. But uh, I fed him two times, so he's good, he can fly, he's, he's fine. But obviously, you know, if I can help him uh, yeah. now because he's in the boat, he's tired and obviously there's so many stuff in the boat that he may just bump and if I put him in this little thing and he can just, from there, just fly straight. And he did it a couple of times, but no issues though. Yeah, so he actually you fed him, he flew away and he came back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was very nice. And now he's resting in his little I don't even know what that is. <laughs> what we have for the cats. <laughs> he gets it now. A little igloo. So the little bird keeps coming back. It's not a game now. So I grab him, I feed him mouth, give him some water, he keeps coming back. So it's not afraid of us. We've been making really good way today. Yeah. We've been averaging, I'd say about six to seven knots, almost hitting eight knots a couple of times. And now we only got about 176 miles left to our destination, <laughs> which is quite nice because I was getting really anxious in the beginning of the passage when we were moving at an average of one knot and we had to tack and <laughs> yeah I mean we really didn't want to hang around the coast of Venezuela but this feels a lot better now this is how big it is you see my hand oh. I thought it's a bird I thought how is the bird hanging big, up man. there oh it's really trying came through the cockpit like a drone. So big. And Nick is going to put a cushion in front of the net so it might not get so much wind. We're afraid it's going to fall in the water because it tried to land on the sail a couple of times and it kind of fell off. Whoa, we have a fish! Well, we let it go if it's too small. So. Oh, you poor thing! Sorry! Oh, it's a, what, it's is fine. it a mackerel? Oh, no. Oh, uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Come down, come down. Come down, come down. Come down, I'm gonna let you go. Oh, bye. Oh, I finally got a fish. <laughs> a fish that didn't get away. And then it's so small. No, we let it go. No fish for lunch again. It's about time I do our paperwork for immigration in Aruba. We're actually only just passing Bonaire, which is the first island of the ABC Islands and we can see the lighthouses and everything. The island is so flat. <laughs> it looks like the lighthouses are actually on the water. It's crazy. So our paperwork for Aruba includes Fairclear, which is basically an online clearance form, like a pre-arrival form where you add all of your details, the details of the vessel and authorities then are already informed that you're on the way. And then we have to print off three 
customs clearance forms, which are started already, that you have to give to authorities and um, three crew lists. And they also have something that is called an ED number, ID number. It's like a like a landing card, I think. Falling apart. We have somebody and it says that the thing is. We have somebody. Oh. And it says that the thing is in the Caribbean, they wouldn't last if they are uh, PVC, they need to be hyperlon. Yeah, somebody actually told us six months and they fall apart. Yeah, it's falling apart, literally. Mm -hmm. Like this was not like this yesterday. Uh, I think we have to check if it's leaking through there. Uh, how many times have we blown it back up during this passage now? I think it's just... Uh, four, four or five times? Yeah. This weather. Scary. It starts all the way here. So this is all nice. And then look here, it's got layers actually, scary blue and dark layers and this looks like doom. Yeah, yesterday was a bit of a horror. We actually battled through the entire night to evade the thunderstorms. They seem to be coming from Venezuela, moving up. So 90 degrees of the wind direction because the wind was coming from east and the thunderstorms were traveling from south to north, which was very strange. And I think we just got a little bit cocky. We reefed way too, too late. We thought ah, we, we evaded so many storms and check the wind direction we wouldn't have thought that the this big system would hit us but then it did obviously and we had 50 knots within a couple of minutes very scary stuff guys we're not going to do that again and then we were trying to get out of the thunderstorm probably for the entire night it kept chasing us then the wind just died just as we were passing Klein Curacao getting close to Curaçao itself and then today the whole day we were just kind of drifting past the island. It's nice, it gave us a bit of a break to gather our strengths again for the last leg. I think it's about another 52 miles, nautical miles to Aruba, but we're only doing about two knots, going very slow. There's hardly any wind. We're on a broad reach, just like going along unfortunately because we're going so slow it will probably push us into another night so two more nights and we're not feeling comfortable arriving after dark to Barcadera the entry port because it's a very tight entrance with a shallow with a shoal and all of the reviews warn not to get too close to the shoal it's very difficult to get in so it's not an option for us to 
go there at night. It's not allowed to anchor through the night in Aruba, unlike in most other countries where you can arrive, you can just drop your anchor close to the entry port somewhere. I mean, there's um, Eagle Beach, which is the other anchorage, which is a little bit further north. But again, it's not an option for us unless we have checked in. So yeah, we might just go even slower than we could actually. We're gonna slow down to arrive during day hours. And yeah, we, we hoped we would be there a little bit quicker. Now, obviously we are at the mercy of the weather right now. Unfortunately, because we were trying to outrun the thunderstorms, we used most of our fuel. So now we're a little bit low. We like to preserve it just in case because there are more thunderstorms predicted for the night. At the moment, it looks pristine. It couldn't look quieter and calmer. You wouldn't think, but by the time the nightfall comes, it usually turns and the, the clouds, they gather and yeah, that's when the spectacle happens. After the horrible night that we had, I think today we're gonna make up for it. <laughs> we're taking nice showers. Whew. And look at this. Yeah. So nice. I see some lightning in front of us, so obviously we have to deal with that. But I think we can avoid it because it's just the port side. We can just go on the, on the starboard side. So we know it's going that way. After yesterday, with all the mess up. I don't know if you can see. I'm going to squeeze on the here. But look at this, guys. The massive cruise ship next to us. It looks far because the GoPro is, it has a wide angle, but it's actually quite close. It's only like maybe like 200 meters. That's going to Aruba. 1.34 miles. Actually, it's 1.34 <laughs> miles. Sorry. But, but it's 324 meters long. 324 meters long, yeah. Just the size of Cuba <laughs> sure. in centimeters. So what was it with the cruise ship that I say was 200 meters away? <laughs> it's 1.34 miles away, but it is going at 16 knots. Oh man. And it just looks like it's standing there next to us. I mean, it's passing by, but it's like the this like air, airplane effect. When you see the airplanes in the sky, they don't look fast, but they're doing like, what is it? Like a thousand kilometers per hour or something? I like think that? it's 800. 800, yeah? Yeah. Is that the average? I think so. If you're doing 4.5 knots, you arrive in 10 hours. Okay guys, my apologies, I got this all completely wrong. Yeah, and you got it wrong, yeah? And yeah. Yeah, so re hey, really go on that cruise No, ship. I just wanna say I got it really really wrong and I attribute it to the fatigue yeah, of last fine. night. <laughs> Look, Sarah today she's done she, she's allowed to be wrong because she cleaned the boat inside, guys, it's like yeah. You could eat in there, but you should be. <laughs> you should be eating there yeah. in the boat. No, I don't mean that. I mean like, yeah, all clean, the bed done, the dishes, everything, floor, the hoover, the, the, the toilet. Yeah, well, you did from this morning, six o'clock till one in the afternoon, because yeah. I was And the last gone. night I was holding the, the steering wheel and petrified lightning. And I hate lightning, I do hate it. And that's, that's, actually, I do anything. I don't go anywhere sailing, but I don't like lightning. And I was holding the steering wheel because I couldn't turn the autopilot on and that was petrifying and the whole thing on top is just like oh god. It was I need scary. to fix the alternator man. That's that's priority, number one. <laughs> yeah. Fix the alternator because that's the problem we have. We couldn't couldn't charge the batteries because the alternator is costed at the moment. Um, I think the previous person who had the boat a few years ago, I think it dropped it because the alternator actually the body is cracked completely. And the body is composed by the magnets or whatever is in there that alternate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's, that's that's broken and we need to change it. Definitely, I think you can fix that. And now it's just doesn't. It gives like one ball. Couldn't even charge the double A batteries. Mm, nothing. <laughs> Join us next time on SB Cuba. Approaching the dog now. The Kosovo immigration dog. ETA five minutes. Wee wee. Come on, come Get down. off the roof. We oh, have to see. check in. Come on then. Get inside! Now! What do you mean?